Somebody told me this, I believe it's true, that we got number one and two playing each other, both from the West Coast. Yes. West Coast basketball's back, baby. It's back big time. And so is Dickie B, and we are underway as UCLA wins the opening tip, coming in at 5-0. and oh. Starting lineups brought to you by Zip Recruiter and for UCLA. There's Juzang coming off a rough shooting night last night. Bernard, Marquez, Campbell, point guard, and 6'10", Miles Johnson. Hungren on the baseline, giving chase and on the line, so the Bruins will have it. I wouldn't give much stock in the last night shooting percentage. I'll tell you why. No way psychologically could UCLA emotionally and mentally be thinking about playing a game where they knew, really, the talent just out did certainly bell in mind. But they were thinking here, playing number one in the nation. So I really wiped that out in terms of statistics. I really yeah, do. I think you can be forgiven for looking ahead a little bit. No question for a game like this. You know, you strike playing without the real center, Mr. Riley. Johnson inside and gets the first one. Johnson from out of Rutgers. Brilliant. I mean, was a brilliant student. Graduated in engineering. I can't even say the engineering classes <laughs> he was taking. Unbelievable. Degree in electrical engineering. Computer engineering. Look at the size difference inside. Holding by the post. So banging inside. Oh, great Holden. pass. As the rebound knocked away and the Bruins come. Up the floor with the basketball. I mean, there's no doubt Hogan's got to get stronger. He's working in the weight room like crazy. But his skills are off the charts for a guy that big. Campbell. Hawkins. Trying a long-range shot. He's so underrated, Hawkins. Really a special player. And by with the first basket. As you look at the Zags starting lineup, it's brought to you by Zip Recruiter. There's Timmy Holmgren. They go 6'10 and 7 feet. Strother. They want Nemhart. So underrated as well. As a point guard nationally, he knows how to play. Very cerebral. Knows how to get the ball to the proper people. Mark Few raves about him. Mark Few, by the way, is putting on Hall of Fame numbers. I mean, it will be soon. He will get a call from out there. It's Massachusetts and about 83 percent of his game since 2000 the year became a head coach and 22 consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament twice Dick he's been a runner-up will this be the year he wears the crown tell you one thing he doesn't have to do much more when you look at that record he's dominated and during the pre-conference because he plays every biggie he's at this one he's got a date with a team club D-U-K-E Suzanne Tough shot picked off by Holmgren. He can handle the ball. Holmgren has got great skills. Look at this. Look at this. Seven seven feet. Are you serious? Oh. Are you serious? Come on, Obi. Are you serious? Oh, America. He is so unique. He is so different. Myron Metcalf of ESPN wrote a whole column about how he's the most unique player in college basketball. Oh, when he gets stronger, watch out. Mm. Hakez pounding his way into the lane, a little turnaround. That won't drop, but it's going to be kicked out by the Zags. And here he is, oh. taking the ball end to end. Look at the agility. Look at the mobility. Oh, man. The highest ranked recruit ever signed by Mark View. Won four state titles in high school, Minnesota. He played with Suggs. And for him, Jelly was a tremendous player. He had that dramatic shot to beat. UCLA to go to the final game. What a game that was. Bernard, a lot of iron. He's hitting 44%. UCLA's just one for seven to start. And the whistle is 17 or four to go here in the first half. That's a look at Mick Cronin. Gave the way of Cincinnati. A lot of people didn't think he could adjust to life in certainly Hollywood there in Westwood. But let me tell you, he made the adjustment big time. And Rick Patino, who he served as an assistant, when he got hired, called me on the phone. He said he will be a big success. He's smart enough to adapt. He will go to his personnel. He will take his personnel and up the tempo. Didn't play at that tempo at Cincinnati, but he's done it here. And he's done a great job recruiting. Paul Biancardi sent me a text the other day who does our recruiting. And he said, absolutely, he's got a tremendous class coming in next year. Kim and Bailey say it might be the best in the country. Marquez mm. with a personal, by the way, to put Bolton in the line. Marquez with a three, straight on, got a real good look. 
And rebounded away by Strother. Strother really is a great addition, but his team gives him size at the wing there. Yeah, six seven, and this is his home. And it's number on target with a triple. Nice and start. So the Zags open up an eight two lead. Yeah, nice little start by the Zags. They really play at a fast pace. Up top, long range, and a triple by Juzan. They needed that on Juzan. Oh, Kentucky wishes they had him in their uniform. Oh, they had him. They get a lot of playing time. Right? Very simply, the reason they had quickly a maxi. Both guys NBA players. Holmgren in close, and that's going to roll in. He looks so frail when you look at his body, right? He does. And he looks so frail. He's a lot tougher than what he looks, let me tell you that. You want to take him out for a steak? Oh, well, I had a great steak last night at the palm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd get that in. Here comes Johnson, and Johnson draws the foul. <laughs> Johnson kids out of Rutgers. What a job being done down there by Steve Michael. We have a timeout. Gonzaga on top 10 5. And when we come back, a gift. For a legend, that would be you, my no, man. Hey, you're a legend. You and your Red Sox. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy, and this is my RV, Roscoe. The court. You're hearing from all of these superstars. Derek Jeter reached out to you today. Well, I got text messages from Derek, from Frank Thomas, <laughs> baseball guys, and so many people. I mean, I couldn't even say thank you to them all because I was just besieged. But I really got a great phone call from Jimmy Pataro, a fine president, great communicator, and all of ESPN. Oh, 43 years up here. That's half of my life. The very yeah. first game. College basketball game ever broadcast on ESPN. 1979. Yeah. 1979. Wow. wow. You did wow. that. And we were off to the races. Here we go. Timmy. Scoop shot. Makes it. He'll be at the line. The 6'10 junior from Dallas and the player of the year candidate looking for a three point play. He's so dominant on the inside. Nice drive to the goal right there. Great footwork. Let me tell you about his Bob shoes and I. The last time I did a game was actually March 10th, and it was in here in Vegas. It was Gonzaga, the championship of the WCC, and beat a good St. Mary's team. But he came off the bench a couple years ago, and Mark Few told me this the other day. I'll never forget this. He replaced the outstanding player, Petrosif. And for about eight minutes, he went wild. And I went ballistic and said, Timmy, 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 get to know that name. He's going to be a superstar. That's one time I'm right. I'm usually wrong about 90 oh, times. Marquez, that's a difficult shot. They really harassed him in the paint. But they play at some pace. you got to get back defensively in transition. They run, baby. They run. And Bolton with the triple out of the corner and they open up a 16 to 6 lead and ucla will try and stop it they want that running game transition they did the same thing when they went to battle with texas and they have met four times in their history dick the blue devils winning the first three the bulldogs winning the last one that was almost three years ago to the day when they were ranked number three and duke was number one well you know duke brings some real talent you talk about the freshman back, Garrow is absolutely sensational. And then the key for them is the development on the interior consistently under the big guy, Williams. If he plays to a high level like he did at the end of the year, Mike shoves has got a dynamite team. He told me I really like my team. Bernard looking underneath, inside for Nuba. Had position, couldn't convert it. And a whistle with 14.48 to go in the first half. In fairness to UCLA, they're playing without a really vital part of their team. Their post player, Riley. They think Nick told me on the phone when I spoke to him, he thinks he'll have him back in about two weeks. And that's a big plus. Yep, 6'9 senior from Kansas City. Double figure scorer. Whenever I see those letters, you say LA, immediately comes to my mind. The Wizard of Westwood, John Wooden, comes to my mind. Louis Alcindor, oh, yes. now known as Kareem <laughs> Abdul Jabbar, the big redhead, yes. Bill Walton. Are you kidding me? Name a school that's had two as good as those two. Marquez denying the late shot clock a factor now. Long one coming and knocked down by Juzang. Well, Juzang keeping keep him in the game here. Juzang is second three. He just couldn't get the playing time down there at Kentucky. And I understand why. Calabria had two pros in the perimeter. Foul, a travel in the paint. So it's going to be a traveling violation on Timmy. 
playing Timmy down tough inside. That's Mr. Juzang with that jumper. He's lethal when he goes to the right. You watch him when he bounces the ball and goes to his right and pulls up on that jumper. He went back home to California. Nothing like sweet home, baby. I got to believe he's a BMC big man on campus. Yep, he slipped there. MR down the lane to lay it in. That slip cost him. Yeah, MR got the score on that drive. I thought he should have dropped it off. A little bounce pass. Drop it on a dive and get him a little layup inside. Marquez up against Timmy. Heck of a matchup there. A lot of banging and he swats it away. Good play right there by Timmy. And they really moved the ball. What ball movement? What ball movement? Are you kidding me? Move the basketball. Move without the ball. Get some movement. Get the basketball to move. Great execution. What efficiency right there. The Strada game into the game hitting 52% beyond the three-point line. Kicked around. UCLA is going to scoop it up. Bernard on the attack. Trying to convert here. Juzang again. And a high rebound. And a whistle with 13 17 to go. Personal foul. That'll be against Duba of UCLA. Nice defense block. inside by Timmy. Well, Timmy had a tough time trying to handle him last year. That dramatic game. That was such a dramatic game last year when Suggs hit that shot. You know, you think about dramatic shots. Obviously, Leitner shot. I always gave the Leitner shot a little edge on that for this reason. The pass that Grant Hill had to make to get Leitner the ball with that time left was so unique and special. And don't forget the shot by Jenkins and Villanova to beat North Carolina. We've had some magical moments. And certainly, Suggs' shot wrenched right up there. Anton Watson, the junior. Out of Spokane into the ball game. It's right through again, this time a miss. That's a nice player to bring off the bench when you bring Watson off that bench. They get some freshmen on the bench that can play. Hickman and Salas. Gamble the one-hander. And they look to run, man. Pressure on the defense all the time. Hickman into the game. And Sosa with the triple. And he's very coming off that bench. The guys like Hickman, he's a five-star player, man. They got it rolling out there in Spokane. The kennel is going to be electric again this year. Gonzaga on a 14-2 run trying to add to that right now. Hickman had a really fine game against Central Michigan yesterday with 16. There's another long run around and out by Strother. Well, UCLA is going to find a way to get some offense going and make some shots. Tiger Campbell, outstanding point guard. Did have, did have a good game yesterday, but he's been solid for UCLA. Boy. Uh, the Zags looking like this. We felt their athleticism. And what made them special? You know, when you have great athletes like that, they don't shoot the ball that well. They had four guys that were outstanding three-point shooters. And they wasted no time sending a message to the unbeaten Zags. We are here, yes. and we are going to win this game. They dominated out of the game. Well, UCLA trying to get something going. Bernard up top. And they bring Peyton Watson into the game. He's coming off a really fine effort yesterday, which he put in 19. But the Zags win it back. You know, he was a big time recruit out of high school. And they believe he's getting to get better and better and better. He wants to get better. He's got that great length, good defensive player. Timmy will try a long one. And a fight for the rebound. 11.36 remaining here in the first half. That's the area that Timmy's got to improve on, his range as a shooter for the next level in particular. Right now, I know people are, find this amazing. He's labeled to be a second-round choice in the eyes of the experts out there. Sometimes the experts are not always right, though. <laughs> There's a lot of second-rounders that have said, oh, we shocked the heck out of you, baby. If not, Watson picks up the personal. Well, half-court trap. They want to speed this game. They want to play at such a high tempo when you look at the zags this way plays very basically very fast as well now both of these teams have been tested both five and oh they both already defeated a top five opponent and zaga taking care of number five texas ucla besting number four villanova in overtime you had to be down 11 late in that game and came back and won that game against a really good villanova team he's not afraid to play a tremendous schedule Clark game close kind of a wild shot Look at the pressure they put on. You better really excel defensively in transition and find people getting back because they're going to put points on the board so quickly. 
Uzang and Haquez back on the floor now for Vic Cronin, third year with the Bruins. And he has them ranked 20 spots higher than they were in the AP poll when last season began. You know, he worked under Bob Huggins, then he worked under Rick Pitino, did a great job at Murray State, a tremendous basketball program at a mid-major level. Carry a ball here. And did a terrific job there at Cincinnati. A lot of people didn't think he should have gotten the job at UCLA, but he has proven those critics wrong, man. He's brought back that excitement. It's how to sell out when they play Villanova. The They're going to sell it every game. I think down here in LA, I know they talk about the traffic, they talk about a lot of entertainment. Still, this UCLA team has earned the right to have sellouts every game. Yeah, another foul here against the Bruins. And that'll go against Miles Johnson off the ball. 24 to 8. And Mick is steaming early. I don't blame him. He's a little frustrated here. He's a competitor, a winner. They didn't expect to have to shoot the ball that we have. Bolton, there's Holmgren underneath. Got position. Lays it in. With the left hand. Yeah. Nice little fake to the right. Goes back with the left hand. Wow. Skill. That's all I can simply say. And people of basketball aficionado who know a lot about skills, he's a multi skilled player. Johnson rolling inside, a little too strong. Hogan affected that shot right there. Mm -hmm. Size affected it. He's an excellent shot blocker for his size. Long range ball. Oh, wow. wow, they are on fire. Dan Patrick and Fuego, baby, and Fuego, they are on fire to Zags. Mercy 29 8. Is the similar start they had against Texas. Usually like too talented just to go away. They're going to battle a battle. Johnson banging inside. Yes. Yeah, and he's scoring again on Johnson's a big plus. I mean, he's there basically block shots, rebound, give him some size on the interior. Very cerebral player. I don't know what cerebral means, but it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of my vocabulary. Timmy, work it, spin in. That rolls off the iron. The game averaging 19 and 6. You straight have going a little spurt. They need a run. They know spurt ability is what Kellogg would always say. Spurt ability. Okay, there's a lot of contact there, but Holmgren able to get it away. There's his effectiveness right there. That size. Timing as well. Emhart, tough angle, lays it in. Look at the pressure they put on. Run, run, and run. Oh, man, do they get up and down the floor. College basketball, feels so good to be here, Dave. What's it next to you, buddy? So great to have you back. It's not been the same without you. Bernard, follow away, no. Timmy there for the rebound and the outlet. Here they come again. Not making shots. Right down the paint. Emhart's had a great first half. Oh, my God, what an unbelievable start. He's been the engine. Are they sending a message we number one? You think the Dukies are watching us now? They're in town. I know they're in town. They're watching. They know they're not going to be playing Citadel. And I don't know any, what that place the factor. I'm not a doctor there. I'm not a bench. But some of the players were looking up for the weather. Yes, we saw some of that yesterday, including Jalen Clark. Let's put it this way. He was not able to keep his lunch down. And a lot of guys on the team right now are feeling the effects of something. It could have some effect. But right now, it's Gonzaga. The biggest effect. Yeah, the way they're playing. Feeling. They're playing such unbelievable concentration, focus, every player communicating on defense. Look at the focus. Look at the eyes. Look at Timmy now. Juzang launching. He bothered Juzang on that shot. Extended that left hand up high. Luba trying to get closer on him. They'll block the shot. There's Mr. Hogram. There's Mr. Hogram again. And another whistle. Michelle White was the number one high school player coming out, rated by ESPN, rated by many. Here he is, Hogan. Look, great timing, done timing. Everybody thinks they can overpower him with physicality, but his timing is excellent. And through Salas picks up the personal foul. He's another potential player that's going to be special eventually. He and Hickman, big time. Players. Marquez off the fake and swishes it in. He's a guy that's going to get going. He can score. Marquez is a very underrated player nationally. Not underrated in the eyes of. At 21 against Villanova. 
The kick out, Holmgren, long range. UCLA trying to string some points together. Tiger Campbell's having a little penetration. Watson. Oh, that missed ugly. Uh, that looked like my jumper right there. He's a better player than that Watson. Watson, very good talent. Very highly thought of by the NBA people in terms of potential. Luba jumping and he commits the foul. Trying to contain Drew Timmy. It has been all Gonzaga, the number one team in the country. Looking every bit like that ranking from downtown inside blocking shots and have been so quick end to end piling up a 33 12 lead over the number two ranked Bruins 50 million dollars so people just go to dickvitale.com if you go to dickvitale.com you can get a raffle ticket you can purchase my book i personally autograph it for you and all the money goes to the v foundation for kids battling cancer you know who would look great in that car me yeah but yeah yeah so I'm, I'm getting in there and that's going to be a traveling violation on timmy hey how important are these seven minutes to ucla he's important i mean you don't want to go down at halftime 25 walking out locker with number two in the nation so a lot of pride at stake right here this is game is certainly not the magnitude like in a tournament but it is a game of pride and passion let's go to sean and to Dick's point, I mean, in the Gonzaga timeout last time, Mark Few was telling us guys, hey, we can't relax just because we have this lead. Our attention to detail at the defensive end has been outstanding. They want it even better down the stretch of the first half. And, you know, block shots like that, that's pretty sensational. I tell you one thing, Sean, hey, Sean, Holgram is the real deal. I don't want to hear about he's not strong enough, physical enough on a collegiate level right now. He is absolutely a major, major factor. The unicorn. Luba will kick oh, it out. Nice fake, nice fake. And a sweet shot by Bernard for two. He's been quiet now. Bernard can score. He can shoot the ball. Nice little jab step. He got himself free. Oh, nice spin. Off the window. That won't drop. They're going to get a little spurt going. A little spurt. Bernard. He can shoot it. On the wing. Can't knock it down. Akez in the corner. Here's Campbell. He's been quiet, Campbell. Nice little drive there. Bischoff is an excellent passer. Bernard tries another. Shooting the basketball has been a tough, tough evening mm -hmm. for UCLA. nevar has been terrific motoring up and down the floor. Leading this charge for the Bulldogs. Here's Timmy. Flips it up off the window. Marquez. I like Hawkins stepping into the paint. Good recovery though by Gonzaga defensively. And a foul. Shots not full, and they're gonna get Reggie. Reggie Miller managed to wear that uniform. You talk about stroking the ball. Reggie can stroke it big time. Now doing a great job in TV. He okay. learned how to shoot from his sister because his sister oh. shot better than he did. Yes. Not only teasing, but she was <laughs> terrific. She was terrific. Shell, great, great player. Strada picks up the personal. I got a, 32 to go. They got a shooter on the sideline here who's doing their games for UCLA. Trace Ford, fifth floor, overlooks the UCLA campus in Beverly Hills. What a view. What a view. Just tremendous. He's a brilliant businessman. Haquez. Going to swing it inside for the big guy, Nuba. Banging away on Timmy. And no basket. Got a walking violation. Mm. Yeah. Traveling violation with 519 to go and a half. 3314 the Zags. Boy, if you're McKillop, probably you'd like to at least go in halftime, maybe down 10. 509 left. Play the game in segments now. Jimmy B used to say that all the time. When you're in trouble, play the game in segments. So you got a five-minute segment right now. Make the most out of this segment. Another turnover on an out-of-bounds first to touch. Win this segment. It's got to be the plea. Bernard losing the dribble. Juzang came in averaging 
20 a game. He'll drill that one. He's got to get more shots. He's one guy making shots. His third one that he's made. It's a mini run for the Bruins. A 6-0 run. Real mini. Backdoor cut. Oh, tremendous defense there by Nuba. Came over for the block. Then Strother. Nuba did a good job rotating over defensively to stop that score. The defense has been a little better the last couple of minutes. Can't afford to let Gonzaga get a few more points. Good defensive effort right there. And quickly they throw it away. They get our guy short and put a uniform on. He played UCLA. He can shoot the ball. That's what he tells us. Well, he did. He can shoot the ball. It's a great family man to love to see this. A perfect in partner. Instagram, all his family things on the lawn, his children. Bolton gave up the dribble. Longer draws the double. And look at him reverse the ball out of the double. They really do a great job. He throw it away. Over, yeah. Who's that? Heavy traffic. No whistle on that play. That's wow. hard to believe. Yeah, wow, hard to believe. I don't blame Nick. Mix up set. I mean, that was one. I could see with one eye, man. I got one eye and I could see that was contact. Kind of three fouls on that play. Why not four? <laughs> Holmgren lines up the three and switches it. Well, we've seen this guy make a three. We've seen him dunk the basketball. We've seen him use the left hand. We've seen him block shots. And he's a freshman. He's a diaper dandy deluxe. He's not just a diaper dandy. He's a deluxe diaper dandy. Seven foot. Wow. Diaper dandy can't deluxe. Te <laughs> can't teach that. Bernard. UCLA needs some magic to happen here as he spins and can't hit it. Impressive by the number one team in the country. Bolton down the lane. Man, does he have a quick step. He's very quick, very fast. Came from Iowa State, part of a transfer situation. I'm not a big fan of the transfer portal. Over 1,700 transfers. I mean, no. I, I think your transfer is okay. You're not going to play in time. What bothers me is I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Have more on that in just a moment. Back in Vegas, ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball. Winding up 36-16 on the scoreboard, and Gonzaga at the line. Rajir Bolden. Bolton, the 6'3 senior out of Petersburg, Virginia. Gonzaga, his number three school. Also played at Iowa State, Penn State. Having the transfer situation, you got guys, some guys been at four schools. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. But I'll tell you this. Right now, I just got a text message. Duke is not here yet. They're in a plane. They're watching the game flying here. They're in the plane. They're up there watching. <laughs> they say, we hope they're not like this against us. Yeah, we look forward to Friday night when the Blue Devils. There goes oh, Campbell strong. on a blow-by for two. He's going to start being a little more active offensively using his driving ability. Jay Billis and Dan Schumann be on a call in that game. And they'll do a terrific job. Two great guys. I can't thank both of them. Now. How many messages and things of support, words of encouragement that they've given me. Jay and Dan both came over. They're working the Maui. Yeah. Both came over to say hi along with some of our bosses to see you in the green room before the game and check up on you and everybody wanted to do that everybody yeah. in our crew wanted to see you well jay really is some of the things he's put up on twitter brought me to tears really and i really appreciate so much he's so talented jay all right look at that there I'm look. The ball. man a foul on the play so Ronnie went up high and took the hit and you know, fouled by jalen clark let, let's be real here we're looking at this gonzaga team Last year undefeated until they got beat in that situation with Baylor. But they lost Joe Ayayi, okay, very good player, NBA, Suggs, NBA, and Kispert. Three guys. They were drafted in terms of whip there. They had a lot of points when they scored against uh, in that match matchup. Kispert had 15, Suggs 16, Ayayi had 22 in that game. Timmy had 25. But you lose three quality guys. We're not talking just good college players that are in the NBA. But they reload. They got it going so well there, Mark Few and company. You know, Mark had a little heat cup here with the dr a drinking situation that's been documented. But you know what? He was accountable. He stood up tall. He made a mistake. It's not going to happen again, and I firmly believe him. Mark has great faith to get his defender airborne and knocks it down, but that makes it a 20-point game. Yeah, good fake right there. Get free. They do that well. They got to just make shots, man. Defend. The claw back in this game. Hickman, another impressive freshman from Seattle. 
They've done a great job, Gonzaga. I think containing Tiger Campbell, not allowing him to penetrate. 155 to go. We're going to review something here. Hope they don't take long, man. I got a dinner date about 9:15. Uh -huh. Don't take long, guys. We got a good crew on this game. Bunch of here, he gets it. Mr. Curry, I hear the name Curry. Is on. Very good. Unnecessary contact to the head by Jalen Clark. And a play shots. Yep, Timmy at the line. Everything going to Zag's way. And he'll drop in the first one. What a first half they've had. Let's not take away from anything going on right now. It's like a brilliant first half that Gonzaga's had. Spectacular. And they did the same thing with Texas. And Texas is a team with a lot of talent. Just getting familiar with each other. Chris Beard by the end of the year has to be a very good basketball team. 42 to 20. And the Zags to get the ball, of course, after the flagrant one. And Hickman trying to get it in. So what will Mick Cronin be telling his team inside the locker room here in Vegas at halftime? They are getting beaten up. It's been a long time since they've been in this kind of scenario. They lost some tough games last year. But was three, no. Guzan will take the hit. You know, look, a foul here the minute 36 to go. You look at the back 12, the way I look at it right now, Oregon's really struggling. A lot of people projected them to be very good. But Nick told me before, before Arizona played Michigan, he said, you watch in our conference, Arizona. So Sean Miller left some really good players there for Tommy Lloyd, who came the way of, of Gonzaga. And Tommy, good basketball man with a lot of context, especially internationally. He said, you watch them against Michigan. They beat Michigan 80 to 64. Hawkins somehow able to push that up there while drawing the contact. And taking a hit. He'll be at the line. Trying to get on track here. Final moments of the first half. He's a very strong player. Very tough player on the inside. This is not the real UCLA we've seen because Gonzaga's been that good. That good. Watson with his third foul. But you're looking at the Pac-12, you want a sleeper team in that conference? Watch Washington State. Kyle Smith, coached at San Francisco, the same league as Mark Fuse, done a good job down there. But I look at, certainly Arizona's going to be right up there. Never forget USC. USC is also going to be in the hunt. And Hart will step back after going around the back. How pretty was that? How good does he look? How good does he look? And Mark Few went on and on with me about him. So coaches know they watch these guys every day in practice. He raved about him. He came the way first year left Gators down there in Florida. Comes out of Canada. Clark with the follow and then follows again. Very big second effort right there by Clark. Good athlete. They got a tremendous recruiting class coming in. Well, Mick Crona was talking at Shudron today, and I think. Not that he expected something like this, but I think he feared it could happen given his team's recent performance and Timmy on the spin and heavy traffic draws the foul. Let's, let's applaud his players. Say good defensive play. The rest missed that baby in all balls. What a nice handle right here. Look at this. Good handle. Step back. Another place for a creep. Akez picks up number two, and Timmy will drain the first. He would definitely be, I think, the leading candidate by the time this year goes on. As for the player of the year in college basketball. Let Meg have a little conversation with Mr. Higgins. I don't think he's inviting him for dinner over at the Palm or Rayos. I think right now he's talking a little upset about what he's seen on the floor. I think he should really be upset with the way his team has defended and their shot selection and their shooting ability because they have not performed to the level that UCLA has been performing with. Well, no doubt about that. And Gonzaga has just shredded them in transition. Oh, their running game is awesome. So final moments of quite a half for Gonzaga. Number one team in the country. Campbell spins around. It won't roll in for him. Timmy with a chance 
to heave this one up there and did not get it off. And that's how the first half ends. But all Bulldogs, Gonzaga, 45 to 25. Look at the reaction by Drew Timmy. Not far enough. Thanks so much, Dave. Yeah, I just talked to Mick Crona walking back on the court. He said, listen, this isn't about this game. It's about the last three weeks. We have to define what type of team we're going to be. Are we going to allow our offense to impact how we play defense and how we compete? And the focal point for him was challenging his guys to stop worrying about shot making and start focusing on getting stops. I'm sure it's exactly what you would have told a team that was down by 20 at halftime to a really outstanding opponent like this. Yeah, great point he made right there. Well, we got to defend better. I mean, they got too many open shots, open looks, got in transition, the easy baskets. I mean, that's not UCLA. That's not McFrown, and I'll tell you that. They want to please him, don't please anybody else. He's please your coach. Holmgren was on the baseline, so a quick turnover for Gonzaga. He could do virtually no wrong in those first 20. Tiger's been quiet with the ball. He's a real excellent penetrator. He's a guy that makes things happen. He hasn't been able to get into the lane at all to create opportunities for his teammates. Bernard gives up the dribble. Shot, shot clock down to 10. Shot 27 percent. That'll affect you a little bit. Juzang will loft it up there. Won't go for him. A fight. And the Bulldogs come away with another rebound. Always looking to attack. Always attacking, attacking. That's going to go the other way. See, if you're Mark Few right now, you got to watch out for a little complacency. You got to watch out for a team figures, well, we're in great shape right now. We're in great shape. Well, right now, you got to play and really make that commitment to elevate your game, knowing that they're going to play at another level. Two on Strother. Just getting started here in the second half from Vegas. And a much ballyhooed matchup between number one and number two. Marquez will kick it out for Bernard. Bit of a warning there, though, from Mark Few that the game wasn't over at halftime. He knows how talented this Bruins squad is. Size really bothered him on his shot, too. Didn't get real good arc because he was challenged. And then one thing I'm really impressed with, we know about their offense. I'm really impressed the way they play defense shots. Sure, big time. Got with a nice little floater. Yeah, so, get two more. So many weapons on offense. They got offensive weapons all over the floor. Can't give a lot of help. They get good spacing. Good offense. You want to be 15 to 17 feet apart so that they can give help. Bernard with a misfire. Challenge to get in that shot. Had to change a little bit of release. Yeah, Hardy was doing this all through the first half to end to end like a lightning bolt. Nice combination, as Mark said. When you got Nemar at the point as the orchestra leader, the guy in the post like Timmy. Campbell. Here's Johnson. Should have stayed between him and the basket. Didn't allow him to make that attack off the bounce. Big fella rolling in, but it's Hunger with another stop. Wait, defensively, he has been the man. Look at that move! Oh, 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 come on, America! America! Get the note in there! Chet Holgrim, are you serious? Wow! We're talking to Diaper Daddy, a kid out of high school, seven foot. He is not, he is not your normal seven footer. Dick, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I would simply say he's awesome, baby, with a capital A. I don't really use that for special plays. Marquez going in strong. It was a nine on the shot clock. Oh, man. Here's the oh, defensive what? stop first, oh. the block. He says, let me block the shot. Let me grab the ball. And let me show that I can handle it. I go around my back. I go down the lane. And it's Jam City. And right now, all the pros watching. I guarantee they're jumping out of the seat. Is he for real? Is he for real? You talk about that forthcoming matchup with Duke and Bancaro and the Blue Devils right here in well, Vegas on Friday night at ESPN. Can't wait for that one. You know, Bancaro's from Seattle, Washington. Came very close to going to Gonzaga. Got to be a joint them. I mean, his mother was a great player at, at uh, World University of Washington. His dad played football at the University of Washington. And what a terrific kid. And I had a little problem. And really, he didn't do a thing from all my reports involved in that. Paolo could flat out play. 49-27. Wow. Yeah, what more can you say? 
And Zaga number oh, one. No, 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 inside. Uh, grabbing one another. That's a point of emphasis on the post. Nice pass. Get it up there. Campbell. Oh, yeah. That's the good They're going to get some easy baskets. They're get anything easy. Shorts, you can swear that. That's my alma mater, he's saying. What's going on? I used to wear that uniform with pride and passion. Bolton will swing it. Point guard as man went down, as he went down, and he just knocks it in. Boy, that is deadly. I tell you, by the end of the year, he's going to get a lot of honors and a lot of awards. Matt Martin is the real deal, also, a, as a point guard. He's very efficient. He has great feel for the game, understanding, and he knows how to make shots as well. He's had a big time night. Experience, you know, nothing like having experience. That's what Nick said. Nick said to me, You want experience. In fact, he praised the heck out of Steve Offer. He said, Everybody got an offer. He said, He did a great job here. But you look at, you know, Elite Eights, he did tri Street 16s, uh, 10 12 was really right up there. But he, at the end, most players were only the NBA. That affected the whole scenario. Marquez off the inbounds, 52 to 31. Sometimes this is good for your ego. It's a way of coaching really can get your attention big time. Wow. 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 How do you get that off? Timmy doubled up, but still banked it in. A beautiful How shot. How did he get that off? He made a smart move coming back, too, because he was not charging very high. In fact, in the NBA, they got him right now. The latest projection has him at 46, second round choice. And then he laid 37 on Texas. Yeah, he was unbelievable. Great pass, step. Johnson. I got that through there. Marquez, with that all-around game, tough rebounder. He's a nightmare of a matchup. Yeah, I love Marquez. I think just really going to have a great year for you, Silla. Forget about what's going on here. Bolton got the jumper he wanted. And a foul by Holmgren over the back. But he is having a superb night. That is his third foul. All right, Mr. King Chet. Harry, right there with the block shot. He's ready to be number one by the NBA people right out there. Do for do. Oh, man, that Panthers team. They look terrific against Philadelphia and against North Carolina. Carolina and Michigan have started off slowly. There's no doubt about it. Defense has been a little problem, but you know what? By the end of the year, those teams will be making noise. Carl Ravage and Jimmy Dice will have to call the final there at Atlantis. By the way, they changed that last foul from Holmgren to Bolton. So Holmgren now with two, staying at two personals. Shot clock at 11. Akez spinning inside. Yes. Not a great move right there. To the one on one, back to mid, went to the goal, scored. I'll be up there in Orlando. Disney got Patino, Rick Patino 5 0 with Iona. Matter of a year or two, he's going to be right there like with the Gonzagas. Trust me. Starting to get recruits. He and Tommy Battamarco, the assistant, doing a great job. And I'll tell you this, they play Alabama. Alabama's tremendous. Alabama's a good team. Yeah, yeah. Very good team. That will go the other way. Got the Jayhawks there as well. See Mr. Silver. Kansas was there for real, too. It's even great here in college basketball. We got some good teams. You know why we got some good teams? I think it's OB. We got some good teams because people have come back to school. You know, I shouldn't even be talking to you, though. You and your Red Sox ruined a day for me. <laughs> I, I, I knew you'd get to it. By, by the way, before you go any further, because you're, you're all Tampa Bay, you're a great supporter of the Rays. Alex Cora, the wonderful manager of the Red Sox, sent me a message saying, give Dickie V a big hug. It's great to have him back. I know how much you love his work, too. Oh, he does three. I always talk to him by the dugout there. He's one of my favorites. I was a great move getting him back. But I had tickets all set for game five for the Rays coming back, coming back to the Trump. Yeah. I watch Juan DeFranco hurt you guys right. big time in the Ross Arena and all my guys come in cash. Did a great job, manager of the year. Yes. And what happens? You guys wrap it up in the Boston. Oh, man. You know what October Magic's like. You oh, know it. You that know? center field, though, that just was unbelievable. Oh, couldn't make it out. Everything he hit oh, was man. a million miles an hour. Campbell at the line. He's been quiet, Tiger. Tiger's way better than what we witnessed here today. And there's no doubt that Nimhart has won that battle at the point guard slot. A little bit of life now, finally, for the Bruins and their fans. They got another 17. Timmy trying to make his presence felt again. Banks it in. He scores around that basket, man. Size solely a factor in going at the NBA. Tough for him to get that inside against the big clank 
big time kind of players, athletics on the inside. He's making 67% of his shots here in the early going of the season. He takes good shots. I guess. That's a good shot. He's kind of his game, man. I guess. But the Bruins with a little life there, a little life there at UCLA. Now to go and get maybe one or Kareem to put a uniform on, sneak in, and play against Hogan. That'd be nice to watch. The oh. big redhead and Hogan go at it. Or uh, yeah. big Lewis. Lewis just was so good. Talk about greatest plays of all time. You better get his day. Under the fire, no. Rebound comes out high, and another crack at it for Gonzaga. Can't give them second opportunities. This Tiger ran up on his face. Look at Tiger. Oh, the screen. Right up, right nice catch by Strother. Right up into that screen. Strother will take it. Oh, you see? It wow. Three. What about that range? What about that range? You do a great job defensively, UCLA. And the bottom line is he shoots over the top of the defense. Bernard off the fake. Hake strong into the lane. Look at that. Spin moves. And it was in and out. Black fighting for the rebound and fouled on the play. Clark working hard on the inside. Aggressive rebounder right there. Swatter so pick up the personal. What rage right there. What rage. Jets even a great cheerleader. They say he's a great teammate. I mean, if you talk to Mark Fuse, what a teammate. Always wants to get better, constantly talking about what can I do to improve. A lot what of folks can... around him too, Dick, are saying that he's he's a reluctant star in many ways. He he doesn't go in for a lot of the media attention as Clark gets hit again going up, but he's going to have to get used to it. Oh, his ability's going to demand it. His ability's going to demand so much interest. Well, 39 left here. A foul will go on Bolton. That'll be number three. He played one game at Deuce in a game and like didn't even care. As long as he won, that's all he cares about. He's a winner. Played high school with Jalen Suggs. What a combination that is. Jalen Clark at the line for UCLA. Sophomore out of Riverside, California. And another one coming. You know, funny thing. I, I did a little research here. NBA draft rankings of these players in our game. Hogan's rated number one. Watson on the bench, number eight. Nolan Hickman, 27. And Marquez is 32. Jazang, 41. And Timmy, 48. Yet Jazang and Timmy are college All Americans. Great college players in the eyes of many. They may surprise some people at the next level, too. Watson took a tumble. Hickman will swing it. And Hart again trying to get inside that lane. Kicks out for Salas. Here it comes. Rebound tipped and controlled by UCLA. By the way, Holmgren on the bench. They've again changed their mind on a foul, and they're now giving him three. So it went from three to two back to three, and that's why he's been on the bench. Marquez. Tough shot. Tough sledding underneath for both sides. 11.55 remaining. And Gonzaga up by 19 over UCLA here in Las Vegas. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is poor. Hey, one thing, the West Coast got a great shot, no doubt about it. It's got improved basketball. It's going to get better better players. Hey, you look right now, when I look at the West Coast Conference, you better keep an eye on BYU in there. I mean, they blew out Oregon. I mean, blew them out like... 25 or 23. Then you talk about Santa Clara, and I've always had great respect for Herb Sendick. I thought he got a raw deal at NC State. Had him in the tournament almost every year he was there. And here he is at Santa Clara, and they've been putting a hurt on clubs, and they're undefeated as well. I'll give you another one, St. Mary's. St. Mary's always in a hot. Are you kidding me? I just take them. They've had a no, great mile. Yeah, yeah, great mile. A few blocks away. Let's bring in Sean Farnham. Yeah, the West Coast Conference and the top five teams are combined to go 26 and 0 so far this season. So a lot of team people talk to Vital about the West Coast Conference. Is it good for Gonzaga? Well, here's what I know: the conference is better than nationally. People want to recognize it. And two is Gonzaga's won more tournament games than any program in the country in the last 10 years. I don't think it's hurting them at all. Not hurting them at all as well. Chris, what they do pre-conference, they play anybody, anywhere, anytime. I mean, who else plays teams like UCLA and Duke and Texas? pre-conference. They'll do that, and they'll do that often. But you're right. I mean, the BYU's Coach Perch got a nice club down there. Kim Barcello is an outstanding player. 
And Hart threading the needle there on that pass to Salas as he laid it in. Salas going to be a star there. Hey, I want to wish the best out to the commissioner of the WCC. That hip surgeon can't be with us. Gloria in the forest. She's really right now, Gloria. We wish you the best. She's watching on TV right loving now. Loving every minute of it. Oh, she's loving every moment. That's my conference. They are super. Sit the lady. And they're sensational. The three S's. 63-42. And UCLA to check it in. It has been all Gonzaga in this one. Here at T-Mobile Arena. That's prime for a wire job because they play twice against each other. Coach Cronin and Coach Field. Two times they met. Both games were overtime games. One by Mark Field. So we figure maybe one out of three that have a chance maybe to get one of those. Clark coming up with the loose ball. He's going to drive it and take the hit by Salas. He'll be at the line. You know, I was taking a turn onto Frank Sinatra Drive here in Vegas to come over to T Mobile. And my first thought was, I would bet at some point, Dickie B being Dickie B, that he met Frank Sinatra, that he hung out with the chairman of the board. Is that true? Wait, wait. Frank Sinatra. Francis Albert Sinatra, my Francis way. Oh, I Sinatra. love that song, my the way. Only. Oh, take it. How did you get that photo? How did you get that photo? Look at my glasses there. That's Oscar Feldman. Uh, he's on the, right now, the right of the screen. He's one of the owners of the Pistons. I presented him a shirt, a basketball, yeah. a medal. And he looked at me like, who's this guy? <laughs> who's this dude, man? He had no clue who I was, oh, but no. I knew who he was. What was that, about 1976? Oh, yeah, 70s. And you're coaching in the NBA? Yeah. I'm a little couple yeah, of in the NBA. Yeah. I so, knew you'd met him. Yeah. Oh, I met friends. I went to see him a couple of times at concert. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. So I'm right here in Vegas. So I'm in Vegas one time. I'll bet. 63-44. Well, a little token pressure. 2-2-1. He's going to be famous with UCLA and the John Wooden era. So proud after one of the early recipients of the John Wooden Pyramid of Success Award. Mm. That's such great respect for him. Such character. Oh, just right. special. Slamming guy. on the brakes and drops it in. He's had a great night. Oh, he's been terrific. His stock is going up, up, and up. Campbell trying to take that baseline. Tough catch. Hawkins in traffic. Good hands by Hawkins right there. Singleton. Got a decent look. Perry up for the rebound. And Singleton's a pretty good three point shooter. Good guard again on a hard dribble and takes the hit. Look back at the last bucket. Look at that bar. He will stop on a dime. Got good vision. Look, he's trying to find the open man. They back away. And he lets the floater go down. I was fortunate enough to do the very first game in his buildings a few years ago. I love it. Jason Benetti does a great job with the White Sox. Great kid. And a great young guy. Oh, look at this. He's too easy. Timmy, two more. We had a great time with Duke blew out you Vegas in that game. I got to spend a little time with Bryce Harper was here. MVP yeah. now. We thought he might make an appearance tonight because he, he's a he, Vegas guy. He loves basketball. I know that. Because we're going to three fouls. Tried to drop a pass there right on the baseline. Never arrived. Holmgren again, back in the game. Look at this pass. Taking a vicious tumble, Strother. And that's going to be intentional. Look like he had a layup right there, but he did a great job coming him down. Referees did an excellent job, jumping right in between, stopping that action. 9.07. And Zaga with the healthy 67 44 lead. No fireworks here. 17 foul on UCLA. Take a look. Nice little pass going in for the layup. Well, to me, he just went to play the ball, didn't he? I don't see any intention there. Do you? You don't? Do you? Mm. He grabs yeah, that right the there. Maybe grabbing the arm. With, with that angle. Yeah, yeah, that angle showed a different look. Yeah, yeah, that angle definitely a different look. We have gone to the monitor. Yeah, no doubt about it, that angle. Plus, Strutter was upset. Strutter ran. Yeah, will, will be a flagrant foul. Yeah. Flagrant one. Yeah. 
So two free throws and the ball. Strath to the line where he hits 83%. That's been all kinds of it tonight. But I'll tell you one thing, knowing Nick Cronin, he will take this and turn this negative to a positive with the work ethic and the unbelievable knowledge he possesses because he's not going to sit back and accept this. I can tell you that right now. He's got a great basketball team. They got talent and they're well coached. This guy understands how to win. He knows what winning's about. He was with those kind of people. Rick Martino told me that emphatically when he was named the coach. He's like, I worked with that guy. He was an assistant for me. I'm telling you, he's a great, great choice. Nine minutes to go here in Vegas. Holmgren, Timmy, a little hesitation. Clock for the block. Good job. Defensive the clock rotating over. One great Holmgren with that size. He has great vision on his passing ability. You can see everything. He passes so much. Great instincts. Yes. There's tremendous instincts. Campbell with a launch. Got it. Where have you been, Mr. Campbell? Come on. You're too good. Zagger Campbell came in 11 points per game, but pretty quiet. You have a strong year. And three guys picked three conference in terms of making the four pack 12 team. Campbell, Marquez, Jazang. And hard again on a strong drive. You know, when you think about Parkview, what he's done with that program, it's amazing what he's done. Look at the numbers. The numbers are unreal. I think you could say he's owned the conference a little bit. <laughs> They've won 11 straight West Coast Conference regular season titles. It's unbelievable. It's just incredible when you think about that. You think about the fact that he's led the team to two final games, had a great chance there to win Elite Eight performances in 15, 17, 19, and 21. He's coached 19 All-Americans. It's unreal what he's done. And backs down from no one. Absolutely, he'll play anybody. Duke coming up Friday on ESPN. Gonzaga's won 30 games five years in a row. Inside, blocked away. Yeah, I'm actually sure. going to count that basket. Yeah, it was definitely good. It was definitely good. I thought it was an automatic call. An automatic call. Look at the box. Somebody tell him he's winning. That's why it makes him so special. Yeah, let's just go down about it. Let me tell you this. You know, you got Mike Shashevsky coming. What a great story that is. When you think about what he's achieved as a coach, winning, I mean, over 1,200 games, I mean, it's unbelievable what he's won. In addition to the five national titles, in addition to three gold medals, and just has been such an unbelievable representative of the Duke basketball program. West Point grab. Oh, nice play inside. Swung inside for Timmy and two more. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. Do you want to believe this? In total? The two leaders, when you think about basketball in the NBA for years, Charlie Popovich has been right at the head of the list. He's a graduate of Academy, Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. and Mike Krzyzewski, West yep. Point. Yep. Something about that leadership ability and what they learn at the Academy. How to be a leader. On the drive, Bernard. Nice and dropped in. Nice work there by Juzang. Nice little movement without the ball by Juzang. And a little floater from the baseline. He's saying an All-American candidate. UCLA fans play a little frustrated upset with the scene here tonight, but don't be. This team will be back. Hickman it rattled out. Bernard picking off the rebound, trying to go coast to coast. And a foul with 7.09 to play. He's been real quiet tonight. A lot of that's because the defense has contained them. Defense has been outstanding also, as well as their offense for Gonzaga. You will push him around. I haven't seen too many people pushing him around out here, do you? No, no. Wow. And this place is built really for the Golden Knights, a great hockey program yes. here. Yep. Terrific. But when you talk about hockey town USA, that's where I live. Come on, man, down the Tampa, two Stanley Cups, baby. John Cooper, as good as it gets. It, it's hard to argue that, you know. Oh, beautiful guy, too, John Cooper, the Lightning. You talk about a guy that's quality in every way. Helps me raise so much money for kids. Came to surprise me while I was sick. With, I didn't know he was coming down. My wife knew. Came all the way down to spend time with me. Just a super guy. I love he and his wife, Jesse. Now you've done an amazing job. Pediatric cancer research and, and fighting 
Over 44 million dollars raised just incredible. Well, I want to get 50. I need 50 million. Somebody out there help me out. Help me out. Also get my new book and you help me out. Holmgren can't throw that one. Every dollar for my new book goes to Kids Battle Cancer. Just go to goodfighttown.com. Oh, nice drive. Block with a foul with 641 to go. But I love when I go down to Beverly Hills. I love walking around UCLA West. What a beautiful campus. It sure is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just in front of saying, made over 100,000 applications for freshmen for the freshman class last year. Oh, number one in the country. I had no chance getting to UCLA. You and I both, brother. I could spell UCLA. They say, I spell the universe. I say, you? Uh, LC? Oh, no, UCLA. I guess. Uh, oh, geez. At the line. But I got two kids playing tennis at Duke. Uh, so they took after their yeah, mother. That's not uh, bad. They took after my wife not rather than me. Yep. And I got two. Well, one right now at Notre Dame. She just came home and have Thanksgiving with her Thursday. She's a softball playing tennis. That's a smart family. And I got another, my grandson, my grandson Ryan, just committed to Notre Dame. Is that right? lacrosse. Wow. And I got a granddaughter right now. She's an outstanding junior tennis player. Oh. She's in the 10th grade. So we're going to see where she goes. Congratulations. All after my wife, not me. And we are all just so thrilled, Dickie, to have you back where you belong, courtside, calling college basketball. You've been the voice of college basketball and the soundtrack for winters and the most amazing college games for so long. And it's not the same without you. It's just well, not. I tell you one thing all the time. I look at my phone right now. <laughs> Text messages. Your phone has been exploding. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't thank people enough. I love you all, and I really wish I could answer all. And the people have been so good, and it's really been great therapy for me. Being, I told Dan once someone to interview me from Yahoo, and I said, Dan, I said it's gonna be like medicine. It's medicine to me being here. It really is. Rather than sitting around and thinking about what could happen, what might happen, it's a lot of thoughts go through your mind. And I'll tell you this, you know, uh, games are blowout right now. I can share to try and hope to inspire some people out there. I want to tell you, it's not just the chemo. What it is is all the blood work, all the scans, and all the trips you got to make in terms before you even get to that chemo stage. And just wears on you, wears on your family. And that's one little philosophy that got me through a lot of this. Heads off the mark there, rebounded away by Gonzaga. My mom and dad, my educated, fifth grade, doctor of love, great, beautiful people. And they used to always tell me, I lost my eyes as a kid. A lot of people don't know that. I lost my eye as a youngster. And she'd always say to me, Richie, was never dead. Richie, don't ever believe in can. You could be somebody, Richie. And, man, I listened to her. And I, I've tried to utilize that in the battle of cancer. But I said, I'm not going to believe in can. I'm not going to let can part of my life. And the, Well, you've lived that. You know, you really have, and you're living it right now. And I think you know, so many of the fans have been coming up to say hello to you. I'm saying hello for everything you've done, not only on the air, but off the air over the course of an incredible career. You're 82 years old and still have the energy of someone who's half your age. Well, I'll tell you this. Oh, yeah, I've been blessed working with great guys like you, whether it be Dan Schumann, Bob Oshusi, Carl Ravage, John Shambi, all work with up there in Orlando. Great guys who've really been so good to me. But I just always remembered one thing. My parents taught me this. And I wish everybody would do this. We have more love in our nation. She'd always say to me and my dad, Richie, treat people how you want to be treated. If we all treated one another like we want to be treated, we wouldn't have all this hate that we have. We need more love in our nation. Here, here. We're going to reach out for each other, put arms around each other. We're the black, white, rich, poor, Christian, Jewish. Doesn't matter. Let's love one another. Are, are you going to hug me now? Yeah, I'll hug you right here. <laughs> I'm going to hug you right here. Now, Jazang with a basket, but they needed a lot more of those early to make a game of it early on here in Las Vegas. Now, it's been all right out of the gate, right out of the shoot. Something I didn't anticipate, you didn't anticipate. Nope. We didn't think we'd have to use fuller material, talking about the Golden Knights and things of that nature, but it's been all, all Gonzaga. Just like it was against Texas. People were anticipating a big game against Texas. Right, with another terrific move, he's put on a display. What a show he's put on. Really has been what the player show. of the game. Yeah, I would say co-player, him and Hogan. Yes. They, they both really have dominated the action. 22 for the point guard for the Zags. Yeah, he's been the leader here. Marquez got a good look. 
That's been a major problem. Defensively has been a problem, but also making shots. Wide open shots. Got to convert those. I love that uniform, though. When I see those four letters, greatness just pops into my face. Sure. And I think of all the great players that have worn that uniform. You see how I... There's certainly better days had this season for Mick Cronin's team. They're just too talented, but... Gonzaga put on a show from minute one and a statement as the best team in the country. A little fall away there by Timmy. They got another test coming up because they don't back down from anybody. Duke Blue Devils on Friday, number one against number five on ESPN. You know, certainly when Sean mentioned it, BYU, Santa Clara, San Francisco, St. Mary's, a whole and unbeaten enter it tonight out of the WCC. Shot clock to one. And a heave. St. Mary's and Randy Bennett. Good win over Notre Dame. Good win over Oregon. That's, that's UCLA. That's Clark. That's UCLA. Running with the basketball transition. We haven't seen much of that here tonight. No. Not by the guys in the UCLA uniforms, that's for sure. Be a half from the Bulldogs. You know, Broncos have scored at least 84 points in every game. Santa Clara, they've beaten a little bit up here. TCU, Stanford, Nevada. Herb said they're doing a heck of a job. Traveling violation. Few is angry about that. He's still over there coaching like it's a one-point game. With 319 to play. Oh, nice little pass. That's Tiger Campbell with the pass. And there's the jam, baby. ESPN's exclusive right here, man. So much fun. Even though it's a blowout. I was hoping it was close. A little over three minutes to play. Gonzaga looking like they're about to go to 6-0 and in the season. UCLA 5-0 and at the moment. And Bernard with the slow dribble. Marquez pushing it up against Timmy. Oh. And he went down hard. And the big fella getting helped up appears to be all right. Ongren took a pretty good tumble. It looks like he's all right. He's hanging in. You know, one thing he says on the phone is get back Cody Riley. Six, nine and a half, double figure scorer. He gives you post presence that he can score. And that's going to be a big plus for them, too, to add to their current personnel. That goes against Johnny Juzang. Number two on him. I think when you think about Tommy Lloyd used to be the assistant for years there with Mark Field. And really that score, when I looked at the Michigan score, blew me away. Yeah. But Mick had told me ahead of time, he said, Sean Miller left him a lot of good players. You know, and sure, there's no other question. He was a really solid tactician and a coach. Unfortunately, there came some of those situations with the NCA. But man, he can coach. The old guys learn, they make a mistake or two and get back. Mark kicks it oh. out for Holmgren. So it's selfish, Holmgren. Two to get off a shot. And transition now. The talented youngster Watson for Bernard, and he lays it in. Nice play by Watson right there. He's rated very high in the eyes of the NBA people. He's going to be a very good player at UCLA this year. Coming up 19 points yesterday against Bellerman. You know, Bellerman coached by an outstanding coach. Coach Davenport really knows the game yes. inside out. People rave about him. He and Mick Cronin very close. Coach Rick Pitino had known a lot about him as well. Sangry phrases. Well, now you're hearing the Gonzaga fans. You've heard them all night long. And they love their team. And oh, why wow. wouldn't they love this team? That kettle rocks and rolls. Oh. And you say he's going to get back when he gets fans, sell that place over. I mean, are you kidding me? Come on, man. A seven footer, great touch, range, what an unbelievable multi skilled superstar. He has 15. And yeah, Bernard floats in two more. His 15s worth like about 30. When you factor in the ability, what he does psychologically, the teams with his shot blocking yes. ability. Well, that's to me, that's more. probably the single most impressive thing tonight. How many shots he altered early in this game when they started to run away with it? And that, and that really affected their shooting as well. Mm -hmm. And that was a big concern. I asked Mick Crow, what's your biggest concern about facing a guy when you're talking about a hold of his shot blocking ability? Do he know alter shots? Mick knows the game, man. I'm a big fan of the Crow. Tonight, 
After this one, it's Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt. We'll take you inside this game as Dickie V will join that show. Plus, a new top four has been unveiled. Reese Davis breaking down the newest college football playoff rankings. And from pumpkin pie to the Detroit Lions, Scott dishes out his boos and woos for Thanksgiving. Going to win, man. The Lions got to get a W. They got to get a W. Nice to live in Michigan. They were good. I don't know, Scott Van Pelt, talk about a superstar. We honored him last year at gala. He was sensational. He just raised, he raised $6.5 million for the night. Wow. Yeah, Scott's good people, knows the game, loves Maryland. Strother from the corner. Holmgren taps the rebound, he's on the line. I would have him out of the lineup. Now, why get a chance of an injury? What is the middle left? Get him out of the lineup. Well done, my friend. Well done, Diaper Dandy. Mike Reeves, no Diaper yep. Dandy. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Holmgren um, coming out to standing O from the Gonzaga faithful. Wonderful performance. You yeah, say yeah. that about the whole team. The whole team is tripping. Coaching staff, team, they were ready, they were focused, and they performed. A lot of hugs. It's great to see a guy that's loved by his teammates, people around. No crazy ego. He shoots the ball really well, normally. He struggled big time just to put on to him. And a whistle here with 25.7 to play. Come on, man. Let's win this game. Get it over. I want to get out with Scott. I got to go match up. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm a star, man. I was all nervous all day in the room. First day of school. I thought Jimmy Pitaro, a tremendous president, called me up. I said, Jimmy, I'm nervous. Jack. I haven't been out there. This is my first game since March 10th, 2020, when I was here in Vegas. This is my first game since then live. Mm. Last year was all at home. Yeah. You know, we got games at home. It's a different morning. Well, we should always have... Dickie V live and in person courtside. This is where you belong and thanks so much for being here I know you weren't gonna miss it for the world. I know you were nervous, but coming back under these circumstances Continue your battle my friend and you are the best. I love you. I love you. Love you. You're a tremendous guy And next year we're gonna get your Red Sox <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising gonna get your Red Sox. I can still lay it in With 10 seconds to go. I love that guy. He can play for me any day of the week mm. I can't say that. I didn't have a typical great game. He's a tough tenacious competitor We didn't see the real Tiger Campbell either. It was all guys on him. Yes it certainly belonged to the Zags from start to finish.